Dr. Anthony Fauci, the government's top infectious disease expert, warned last night that we need to be prepared for a possible second cycle of coronavirus later this year. Paula Reed is at the White House with more on the story. But Paula, what is the president saying? Good morning, Gail. The president clearly wants to jumpstart the economy, even though economists, health experts, and lawmakers on both sides of the aisle say lifting the current restrictions could cost lives with little lasting benefit for the economy. I'm not going to do anything rash or hastily. I don't do that. But the country wants to get back to work. After saying Tuesday that he wanted the country raring to go by Easter, President Trump yesterday appeared to couch that goal, instead suggesting a staggered approach. We'll do sections of our country. There's big sections of our country that are very, you know, little affected by what's taken place. Then there are other sections that are very heavily affected. So there's a big difference. But as cases continue to rise, some state leaders remain hesitant to send people back to work. We begin to prematurely open things up. I believe we only throw gasoline on the fire of the virus. Economists and lawmakers on both sides of the aisle have criticized his plan to open the country in just two and a half weeks. But the president accused the media of wanting to keep the country shut down in order to hurt his chances of re-election. You tweeted, you said that the media wants the country to remain closed. I think there are certain people that would like it to do financially poorly because they think that would be very good as far as defeating me at the polls. There are people in your profession that would like that to happen. But even the president's top medical experts have warned against setting arbitrary deadlines for resuming normal activities. You've got to be realistic and you've got to understand that you don't make the timeline. The virus makes the timeline. Mm. So you've got to respond in what you see happen. You've got to go with what the situation on the ground is. We know our viewers have a lot of questions about how the virus will continue to impact schools. And the vice president says Education Secretary Betsy DeVos, who rarely talks to journalists, will make her debut at the coronavirus task force briefing on Friday. Tony. Yeah, a lot of kids out of school, but the virus sets the timetable. Important note there. Paula, thank you very much.